Today's episode of Techsplain will unpack the latest technology that everyone everywhere is talking about, the metaverse. The metaverse is emerging as the next big technology platform, attracting plenty of innovators and investments. While there's a lot of hype surrounding the metaverse, there's also a lot of substance, developments, and opportunities in this space. The metaverse has definitely garnered a lot of attention over the past couple of years. We all remember in 2021, Mark Zuckerberg rebranded Facebook into a group called Meta and outlined plans to develop the technology in an effort to demonstrate its commitment to the metaverse technology. Here in the UAE, the Dubai government recently launched a metaverse strategy with the aim to transform the Emirate into one of the world's top 10 metaverse economies. But before we get started and before we introduce our amazing guest for today, Arya, do you have any fun trivia about the metaverse for me? Yes, definitely I do. And this is something I love a lot about. So did you know that while the metaverse is a futuristic idea, the term's origin actually comes from the past? More than my age. It's almost 30 years, in fact. Uh, I'm careful, Arya. I'm 30 years old, by the way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> so author Neil Stephenson coined the term metaverse in his 1992 science fiction novel, Snow Crash, which envisions a virtual reality-based successor to the internet. In the novel, people use digital avatars of themselves to explore the online world, often as a way of escaping a dystopian reality. Now joining us today is Bali Singh, the CMO for Everdome, the world's first hyper-realistic metaverse, to help us understand the metaverse more. Welcome, Bali, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Very excited. To kick off our discussion for today, Bali, can you just tell us what is the metaverse? What are the different characteristics that shape the, meta the metaverse in your view? And at the same, on the same vein, can you also explain what isn't? The metaverse. The metaverse is the new dot com where we normally browse on our laptop, on mm -hmm. our phone. We're just immersing ourselves into the metaverse now. And there'll be lots of different ways we can do that in the future. Like I said, it's very simple or you can make it very complicated. That's the bottom line. That That's what it's going to be. It's going to be the new dot com. New dot com, yes. And obviously, you know, um, what we're experiencing today, um, whenever people think of metaverse, they instantly think of online gaming. But it's not just online gaming, is it? No, I mean, I think the metaverse did, the idea of the metaverse did start with online gaming because that's the most interactive mm -hmm. metaverse, as you could put it, out there. But the metaverse goes into lots of different, it goes into every angle. Where whichever company, or whichever product, person, whatever it may be, needs a website, they will need a metaverse. This is the base. This is basically the future of the dot com. And okay. it's about, you know, highlighting your product in an easier and clearer way. Thank yeah, you. since you said about the businesses, it needs to have a dot com, things like that. Uh, can you please explain how it will impact the ordinary people and not just the businesses? How will it affect ordinary people? I think it's going to affect ordinary people ev in their everyday lives. Whether you go to, if you're just going to the shops, right? If you're buying something online, instead of buying an outfit, let's talk about fashion because you've got this beautiful colored um, jacket on. So let's talk about fashion. You go into a super, um, into a department store. Now you've got, I'm not going to mention the brands. You've got a beautiful jacket on one side and the trousers are right on the other end, um, side of the store. You can't take the trousers to the jacket. In the metaverse, you can. Yeah. You can try it on. And that's just a, a simple example. Buying a property. Mm -hmm. Yep. First you have to get in your car, you have to go to the location. You don't have time. We, none of us have time. Time is, you know, precious these days. You can go view a property in the metaverse. So you could, for example, view five properties in the metaverse and say, right, I'm going to pick two. Mm -hmm. You know, how does that affect us? How is it going to affect us as people and what we do? It's going to affect us by us thinking about our carbon footprint you know mm -hmm. everything's yep. affecting us like now you don't take five trips to see properties you're only taking two because mm -hmm. so, you've seen everything in the metaverse so would you say this is a sustainable alternative definitely definitely it's definitely a sustainable alternative because 
we need to cut down on our carbon footprint and we need to be sustainable. Right now, the planet isn't. How do we do this? You know, whether it be conferences, mm -hmm. maybe festivals, maybe meetings. How many times do you have to drive across the other side of the city to have a meeting? Five of you have to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's very hard. I mean, so this is the way I see it's going to affect everyday people. Yeah, that's very interesting. Just, you know, um, you know, circling back to your example about retail, um, I can't tell you how much um, I love Dubai Mall, obviously, but everything is there. But it's so big, and you it always find yeah, anything, it can't anywhere. find anything. And it always happens that I would need one thing, and it's all the way from the other side of the mall. And then the other thing that I would need is it's right at the other floor. It's a nightmare. Yes. And the thing here is perfect, and this is great for the fashion industry. Mm -hmm. Everybody can have a personal shopper. Mm, yes. It, yeah. You walk into a cabin, right? See what's there. Your personal shopper's sitting on the other side who's always in the metaverse with you, right? And she, and she can say, wear this, try this, try this, try this. And then you build up your profile with that store. Mm -hmm. And then they, they can sell you more things. <laughs> That's the way it works, right? I think right now, the, one of the hardest tasks when it comes to any fashion item and any product, any business, is selling it to the consumer, the consumer has so many choices and so many options. You have five seconds to mm -hmm. get their attention. It's very hard. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the consumer's immersed into your metaverse, immersed into your website. You get th their attention longer and hopefully you get their pennies too. Oh, cool. Yes, so sure. Oh, sorry, said... Durham's. I oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, or um, maybe Phil's. Yeah, yeah Phil's, yeah. <laughs> and I just wanted to know, obviously, um, we all know that while the movement or the, you know, um, the development around metaverse is happening exponentially almost every day. Um, it's still in its early stages, isn't it? While the metaverse will definitely provide, you know, um, consumers or users with the convenience of not having to drive somewhere and walk, um, you know, for hours and hours to find what they need. You know, the physical, the physical experience is still the physical, you know, experience, it's, it's still, the physical experience will still will always be the best experience. Yes. yes. But we have a choice. Yeah. You have an option now mm -hmm. that you can do it in a different way. Right now, there's a lot of metaverses out there which are very blocky. I gave you the example of real estate. How can you go see a house that looks yeah. like Legoland? Mm -hmm. You know, you can't see it. That's why our metaverse was created because we're hyper-realistic. People want to see detail. People don't want to be in a cartoon. People don't want to be in something that doesn't look like reality. So that's why we, we did what we did. And that's why we got companies like the uh, Alfa Romeo Formula One team to partner with us because they saw the problems, because they had other options, but they, they saw what we do. It's all about detail. So like you said, the consumer wants detail. This is the reason why they'll do it. And it gives them more options. Where you're driving around and you're running around Dubai Mall or uh, Emirates Mall, yes. um, you waste time. Mm -hmm. This is going to cut the, that time span down where you can just do multiple things, but a lot faster. Okay. I have, believe you have already answered about why companies should consider building in the metaverse. Would you like to add some more points to that? I think there's a lot of CEO, CEOs out there mm -hmm. that are very, very skeptical about the metaverse, but there are a lot of uh, CEOs out there skeptical about the dot-com. And where did they end up? Still having a yeah, platform. Let's talk, let's, yeah. let's say the Nokia's of the world. Mm -hmm. yes. If you don't evolve and you think you don't need it this year, maybe you're going to be too late next to year. Adapt, adapt next year. Yes. Great. And, you know, earlier, um, just looking at Dubai in particular, you know, um, earlier this year or just a few months ago, Dubai has launched its own metaverse strategy. So in terms of making you know, making the metaverse a success. So how important is the support of, you know, govern, the government um, in terms of, you know, making it a reality? I think it's very, it's very important for leadership to support us and they see the potentials and that's why they're pione pioneering this globally. Mm -hmm. um, the effort and the leaps and bounds that the UAE government is taking is unbelievable. Where do you see the long-term potential of um, the metaverse? It's going to be, it's going to be day-to-day -day use. The same way you pick up your mobile phone, 
the same, same way you'll pick up your Oculus. It's called an Oculus right now. It'll be something else in the future. <laughs> Maybe you just tap the side of your head. The technology and the hardware is so advanced right now when it comes to sensors, t touching, feeling, vibrations, 3D cinema is something I was talking about the other day. People thought it was a fad, but we all love to go watch 3D movies, right? It still, it still exists. Mm -hmm. So I, I believe it's, it's, it's the future. It's going to be here. And Forever. we all need to adapt to it mm -hmm. in our own ways. Some people will use it more, some people will use it less. And you were talking about education. I believe education is crucial to have the metaverse in education. Now children from all over the world can connect. Yes. You could be sitting in a classroom, classroom in the metaverse with 10 different nationalities. Where can you do that? I mean, you can do that in Dubai because you have <laughs> multiple. But you, you, you understand my point. We can really connect governments, conferences, delegations. All of a sudden, look at the carbon emissions we put out to get to these places. How many people have to fly to a city? How much pollution is there? It's all about responsibility. And the companies right now that are a part of the metaverse, they are very, very responsible. And we have the chance to shape the future. Every coin has two sides. It's not like it's all good and rainbows and sunshines. Mm -hmm. So what are the obstacles that is expanding other than metaverse being a new technology? I think, there's, the I think there's always obstacles in, a, in such a nascent industry. And um, I, I, I would say because we are a nascent in industry, we have the opportunity to build from the ground up. Mm -hmm. Security, safety, um, you know, all those things are very, very important. And we're working on blockchain, which is great. Mm -hmm. So all these aspects, because we are starting from an early stage, we can build, we can learn from the mistakes of technology um, in the past. And I think it's a great place to be right now. And I think we're, we're moving forward in leaps and bounds. Every day there's new breakthroughs when it comes to, um, new breakthroughs when it comes to um, this technology and this industry. How can people invest in the metaverse? So... With Everdome, we did our, our land sale. So you can buy real, est real estate in the metaverse. So we, we sold over 90%. Ooh. Yeah, to yeah. The, and this is to the general public. Yes. So the interest and the hunger is there. I mean, as you know, Snoop Dogg had a, mm. has got a house in the metaverse <laughs> and many other celebrities have got real estate in the metaverse. With Everdome, we've got Pierre Gasly, the Formula One driver. And obviously we have the Alfa Romeo team. Um, we have a few of the other F1 drivers in there, sports personalities, mm -hmm. celebrities, crypto uh, influencers, and so on. So it's quite easy to buy um, property in the metaverse. Mm -hmm. You just log on and the rest is um, pretty self-explanatory. Great. So maybe I'll check it out. Yeah, buy a little slice, invest in the future. <laughs> I want you to check it out so that if it's good, I will check it out. Oh, well. so you're going to use her as a guinea I pig? Know. Yes. <laughs> Lamb to the slaughter. No, I think... Um, I think everybody's being very clever um, and it's very early and everybody's investing carefully. Um, it's always good to do your research and due mm -hmm. diligence whenever you invest in any, any property. Yes. And this is actually a property now. Yes. So, um, and an asset. So yeah, it's just doing your due diligence and making sure you're investing in the right product. Just looking at the metaverse as a, as a whole now. So, um, what is your opinion with some people who are saying, you know, um, the metaverse belongs in a multiverse of some sort? Because there's not just one metaverse. No, no. Out there. I, I think, you see, I'm not going to mention any names here. Um, <laughs> us at Everdome believe in multiverses. Mm -hmm. So you can jump from metaverse to metaverse. That's the key. Yes. You know, to this. If you, how you can get the whole experience. It's I think the big boys will try to control it. Mm -hmm. But I think the people that are really the innovators, which are controlling the metaverse right now, will not let it happen. So you'll be able to jump from metaverse to metaverse, enter different portals, go to different mm -hmm. locations. That's what's going to make it fun. It's more interactive. And it's, it's better for companies to let that happen because then you're getting, you're getting other people that would never ever go to your website or mm -hmm. go to your website. All of a sudden there's this huge interaction, which is great for everybody. It feels like a Marvel movie, isn't it? Yes. It, it definitely is. It, it leaves, always brings you know, Doctor Strange into my mind. hundred percent. But you know, we all live this, I think, virtual, real, virtual world and you know, the real world, we all live in it already. 
Instagram, Facebook, it, it is a virtual world. You know, everybody's happy, everybody's rich, everybody's healthy on Instagram, right? Is that the yeah. truth? No, no, it isn't. It but isn't. that's the way it looks, right? And this is, we, we like to, you know, experience the nice things. And this is a place where you can come, enjoy yourself and get away from reality. At yes. the same time, stay in reality when it comes to work. Yeah. I think a lot of people, when it comes to the workplaces, are going to travel less mm -hmm. to go to work. We were having this conversation before we um, came into the studio. When you go into a boardroom mm -hmm. and you've got 10 people and you see you're sitting at the end of the uh, table, the pressure is immense. Just imagine immersing your CEO and the rest of the other the rest of the group mm -hmm. into yes. that whatever you're trying to sell to them. Mm -hmm. Maybe a fashion brand. You, all of a sudden, you're not in a boardroom. You're sitting in the middle of, of the Champs Elysees mm -hmm. um, or underneath the Eiffel Tower to explain. And there's a fashion show walking around. You know, there's models walking. All of a sudden, they, they're like, wow, is this what we're going to do? You already sold your product. It really, really helps sell. And I think that's going to be the way of the future. People are just going to meet in the metaverse instead of meeting in boardrooms you know and traveling from country to city to city country to country it will all be a, yeah yeah that's going to, that's <laughs> going to happen one as well day we can go to mars and yeah, moon it's close it's close that's where we are it's amazing how you know these technologies this evolution is happening today you know and um, obviously it's going to grow even more and become better in the future but it's just amazing it, it's, we're living in the future you know when i was a kid i wouldn't imagine having this kind of conversation see, when you were a kid and when i was a kid is a little bit different <laughs> i was having a conversation about mobile phones i remember when i used to be a young entrepreneur i used to carry a the mobile phone oh. no a mobile, a mobile phone, phone that was the size of a briefcase oh. the battery used to last 2 hours i'm on about this a huge I think it must have weighed at least 15k, 15 to 20. I've never and that's, seen oh, that. And use a click it off. Hello? Oh, you can't <laughs> hear me anyway. But that's how we evolved from these huge briefcase mobile phones to these little gadgets. Smartphones, it's just, yeah. and in the space, look at the space. It's, you know, just a 10, 20 years, it's completely changed. Mm -hmm. And it's going to keep on evolving. Yeah. And the metaverse is going to be the same and we'll sit in 20 years time hopefully and say i remember when i did the first ever <laughs> podcast about the metaverse and maybe that, that by that time the episode will be in the metaverse of course it will oh, be that's a good yeah. idea yeah. definitely it's it's thinking what my avatar will I think be. we need to have a conversation with your ceo <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today bali and um, of course, we are also excited to to know more about whatever Dome is doing. Um, and, you know, we personally, I am excited to see, um, you know, where the metaverse will take us and, you know, any other future developments in this space. Um, really appreciate you uh, taking the time to be with us here today. Before we finish, I think we should take you for a tour in the metaverse. Oh, that would, I think that would be really that cool. That would be awesome. Um, so we can really show you um, what we're doing at Everdome. That will be awesome. Brilliant. Yes. <laughs> it's well noted. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Techsplain. Once again, I'm your host, Adele Geronimo, and together with my co-host, Arya Davy, we hope you enjoyed exploring the metaverse with us today. If you love listening and understanding all things tech, don't forget to tune in to Techsplain, which is available on Spotify, Apple, Google, or wherever you get your podcasts from. <laughs>